All right, it's Flex Friday, $20 protected play. Hope you're all having a great day. We have two final play-in games today. Thank God the playoffs will be here Saturday and Sunday where we have a series of games. It's way easier to make props. These play-ins have been anything but predictable. Let's see what we got today. We got the Bulls, plus 5.5, over under 208. Low point total, which means we're probably not going to want to take too much of this. Uh, the, the Heat are favored, minus 215. If you want to take any spreads here, I would take the Bulls again, five and a half. Uh, I would not take the money line, but I would take them at five and a half, and I would probably stay away from the over-under. Next, Thunder Wolves. Same thing. Thunder are five and a half dogs again. Over-under 228.5. I would take the over on that. It's going to be, again, if Thunder win, this goes over. Plus 185 for the money line. I would probably just take the spread plus six. Again, I don't love either of these games, but it's Flex Friday, and I called a shot yesterday on stream. 10x. I'm going for it today. Let's see what we can get. By the way, these are recorded live, so there's going to be things here and there that there's going to just be issues, so just keep that in mind. I do this all live. There's no script. So here we are on prize picks. We got NBA. I already talked about some PGA today on uh, on my Twitter, but as you can see, these are all bumped up, but take a look at this really fast. The course is playing 1.7 strokes under par. All these blue, that means that the majority of people playing these are getting birdies. That's what that means. Like, look at this. Players through 65. Out of the 65 players, 23 have gotten birdies, 34 have gotten pars. So when you see stuff like that, you target the best golfers in the world, and you just take their overs on their birdies, like Hatton, Lowry, Shoffle, stuff like that. I stay away from the fives just because that's a ton, but four and a half is decent. So I put a slip on Twitter for PGA if you want to look at that. But let's get into what everyone wants, NBA props. And right out of the gate, I'm going to tell you guys one that you need to be looking at. And that is Tareen Prince, if that's how you say his first name. I just call him the, the Prince, Prince of Bel-Air. One and a half, three points made. Take a look. Four, two, three, one. I'm pretty sure Vegas has it at minus 135 last time I looked. But we can go over to Stat Muse and we can check what his game log has been like. And take a look. Last game versus the Pelicans, the dude played 35 minutes. Granted, there was no Rudy Gobert, so I'm not exactly sure. If he comes back, how that's going to affect him. But even then, there's no McDaniels. So the game before, he played 25 minutes. 23 minutes, 19, 21. His minutes are trending up. So you see 19, 23, 25, 35. The more they need to win, the more his minutes have been trending up. So field goal attempt 14. The dude has one job, and that's to chuck. So if you want to take his 1.53 pointers, I don't hate it. He chucks threes. If you want to take his PRA or even just his 9.5 points, I don't hate that either. Either one of these, he's in play, okay? They don't have a fantasy score for him, unfortunately. Um, but again, you can take the points, the PRA, or you can take the any of these props that you like besides the rebounds, I would stay away. I would take points, rebounds, points, assist, PRA, or points, or the three-point shot. My favorite two... Nine and a half points and one and a half threes. Okay, so you you you've heard me say that. So don't come back and be like, Captain, you didn't say that because I did. I said it right here, right now. All right. Now let's go to fantasy score. Let's see what we got. Jimmy Butler facing his rival, not his rival, but his former team against the Bulls. Can he get it done? Forty-seven point five is a big number. That's a big number. They have to win. Last game they came out flat. A lot of people are talking about Jimmy Buckets. Let's take a look at his assists. Jimmy Butler assist is at six. I, I would probably take his assist again and stay clear of his fantasy score, but I don't hate his fantasy score. I don't hate his points either. So I'm going to take over six assists on Jimmy Butler. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. And if you want, you can take his fantasy score. Some of you can only do fantasy scores. Go ahead and take his fantasy score. I don't hate it. All right, so we got two right there. Let's see what we got. Now, these Bulls. It's Bulls Roulette, Levine, Vus, and DeMar. Which one's going to get it done? I don't know, folks. I really do, I really don't know. I like Vus, but he's going to be in a tough defensive, slow-paced matchup against Bam Adebayo. I don't know if I like that. Levine, 
He can explode at any time, as you guys saw that last game. His fantasy score is directly tied to his ability to score buckets. Last game, he just shot in the second half. Unbelievable lights out. Can he do that again? I don't think he's going to do it two games in a row. But here's what you want to do if you want to take the Bulls. If you want to take the Bulls, I know he's a salesman, but I would probably take DeMar because he has the most upside out of the three. So if you're going to take any of the three fantasy scores, I would probably take DeMar and then Vuce, and then Levine. If you want to take a bull, take Levine's real points. Whatever that number is, let's take a look. Zach Levine. Let's take a look at his points. It's five free throws for him isn't bad either, but his real points, 26.5. I don't hate that. If you want to take one of these bulls right now, they're not in, I'm not focused on the bulls so much, but if you want to take it, take his points. Uh, I would take his points, not his fantasy score. Let's see. Do they have do they have Vuce up here for assists? I don't think so. Let's see what they got for Vuce. 13.5 field goals attempted, 10 re two and a half assists for Vuce isn't bad either. He covered that for us last game. If you want to take Vuce assist, I don't hate this. Two and a half assists for Vuce. Anytime you can get assists at two and a half for a guy that has high usage, it's in play. So Vuce two and a half assist, it would be my favorite for him. Uh, and and his fantasy score because it's an even number at 35 sorry i'm kind of going again this is done live so i'm kind of doing this with you guys my process i'm going over this with you all right okay so we talked about the bulls tyler hero uh man he can go off at any time but i'm, I'm just gonna stay away we'll cover this stuff during the live stream where my my opinion may change we still don't have rudy gobert news he's questionable with the back but i'll tell you what after what i saw last game this guy, 41.5, Josh Giddy. he came out to play. He's got heart. It looks like he wants to win the game more than anyone. I'm putting him in over fantasy score. I don't care. If he sells, he sells. He came through last game in a big way. I'm taking him again. If Gobert sits, you want to go to Carl Anthony Towns. The Thunder allow the most rebounds in the league. They're ranked dead last, and they, they allow, I'm pretty sure, close to that to centers. So... If you want to play Carl Anthony Towns, if Gobert sits, you need to be looking at him. 43.5 is a little bit too low for a guy who's going to play 30 plus minutes with high usage. Again, that's if Gobert sits. McDaniels is out. If Gobert sits, I'm locking Kyle Anderson. Even if even if Gobert plays, I'm probably going to play Kyle Anderson because he gets blocks and steals more than anyone else on his team. Those are worth three points a pop. If he gets three blocks and steals, that's nine points. He only needs to come up with 26.5 fantasy points. Give him a couple points, boards, whatever. I'm taking him. He plays hard. He likes to win. And then, okay, here's another thing. Anthony Edwards points. Last game, he sold big time. He shot one for 13 or one for 14. He, the dude could not buy a shot. So let me tell you what I'm going to do right here. He's not going to, this isn't going to be my main slip, but I will 100% have Anthony Edwards over 27.5 real points in some slips tonight. He will be in some slips. He's not going to be in this one, but he will be in some slips. So hear me when I say that. He's going to bounce back. It Hopefully, I mean, it's not guaranteed, but I will take the bounce back candidate all day, twice on Sunday. So that the the bad game, coming off the bad game, let Fleetwood today, let, let that be a classic example. Dude shot two birdies yesterday, sold the slip. Coming out today, he's got eight, and he's still on the course. I mean, that's just how these guys roll. They're the best in the world at what they do. Okay, you're allowed to have off games. Kobe White points 9.5 i would take the under on that all day nine if you want to take unders i don't like unders but if you want to take an under there you go nine and a half points under pat williams he 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 was all over the court last game let's take a look at him real quick and then i'll go back to the thunder let's take a look at him where's he at pat williams 0 0.5 free throws made 0 0.5 dunks eight and a half points okay if i'm gonna take pat williams tonight this is it right here 12.5 pra over I like this play a lot. This is this is my favorite bull. Besides Voost over two assists, two and a half assists, Pat Williams, 12.5 points, rebounds, assist, 100% in play, boys. Also his points, but the best prop you can get for him is his rebounds. Vegas has it at two and a half right now. Unfortunately, Price Picks has it at three, but it's still it's still good value. Uh 
I mean, it, he has to get four to cover, unfortunately, but you, you can push if he gets three. But I would just take his PRA personally. But again, not for this slip, but if, if some of you are going to be hell-bent on playing the Bulls, and that's what you can do. You can go look over there. Now, Mr. I'm the I'm the best rookie in the league, Jalen Williams. If you want to take a look at him, 15 PRA, that's where I would go. Or if you just want to look at his points, rebounds, that's okay too. But for now, like I said, I'm not going there. For this particular slip, this is what I got so far. Prince, Butler, 6 assists, or his fantasy score, whichever have you. Giddy, 41.5 fantasy score. Kyle Anderson, 35.5 fantasy score. And guess what? The man who sold... Our five slip yesterday, or two days ago, 31.5. He shot one for 12, something abysmal like that. He played 35 to 39 minutes. I can't remember, but guess what? I'm going right back to him. 31.5 fantasy score. I don't care. If he busts, he busts. I, if you tell me that the dude is going to play 35 minutes in a competitive game against the Minnesota Timberwolves for the season on the line, he averages over a fantasy point per minute. That's all that matters. I don't care about the emotional aspect. I don't care that he's sold. I don't care that he's uh, not playing good. All I care about is fantasy points per minute. He averages over a fantasy point per minute. He's going to play 35 minutes. So take 1 times 35 and you get 35. So his fantasy score being 31.5 is too low. He can't come out and shoot that bad again. I mean, he can, but I'm going to gamble and hope that he doesn't. So put him in there. I know a lot of you have him on your ban list. Guess what? It, if you if you don't want to play him, that's fine. Go to Lou Dort. Lou Gens Dort is 100% in play. He disappears at the second half all the time. But if you want to take him, especially his first half, 26.5, for his full game is in play, but if you want to take his first half, I don't hate that either. And then lastly, God, I can't believe I'm saying this. Mike Conley, 29.5 fantasy score. Let's take a look at Mike Conley real fast. My goodness. Is this what it's come to where we have to take a look at Mike Conley? All right, 34 minutes last game, the game that mattered. 17 points, 2 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal, 5 field goals made, field goal attempt 11. So he shot... He shot 45%. <clears throat> he took six three-pointers. I mean, I don't hate that. 29 is a little bit too low for him. If you want to take if you want to take Mike Conley, he's in play. I guess you can put him in there to round out the slip, but I would probably rather take I'd probably honestly goodness. I'd probably rather take Well, let's see. If Gobert sits, you're going to take Towns here, okay? Over, obviously. If Gobert sits. But if not, then you can take Mike Conley over, and if you don't want to take Williams, you could take Dort. And if you don't, if you want to make it a, a six slip, but even just a pick five is fine. And then if you want to take Voos over two and a half assists, or if you want to take Pat Williams over fifteen or twelve point five PRA. But these are the guys that I'm looking at right now. These are my favorites. Giddy and Kyle Anderson are probably my two favorites, and then followed by Prince, then Butler, then Jalen Williams. Okay, we will go live at noon where I will cover all this stuff more. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the rambling and you learned something, give a head subscribe. That being said, good luck, guys, and crush.